Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News, which you as always myself, Bobby. Got my brother with me, Mr. Scott Troop, aka the Crypto Beast. As you guys know by now, we'd like to take a couple minutes out of our day, skim through some of the daily crypto news, bring some of the highlights to your attention, and see what you guys think about them. I'm one of the uh, admins over here, big one. Scott is as well, and he also handles all the social media. Uh, but before we get started, we always like to do this thing called the Daily Market Sentiment, brought to you by the Crypto Beast. So uh, this is going to be one of those segments that we just jump into uh, to get the daily market sentiment based off, you know, some of the things that we see on social media, maybe on some charts or maybe on some stuff that we read today. But without further ado, we're going to let Crypto Beast introduce himself and give us the daily market sentiment. Yeah, for sure. I guess I feel a little bit bullish as to like the way that the green candles bit. went up a bit today. <laughs> a little bit. Bitcoin 15% in a day. That is that's. Look, I don't, I don't know the macro of everything, but that is not even a little bit bullish. I would, you guys know me. I've been in this whole segment. I've always been like, eh, eh. hey, respect the pump. That's all I always say is that I think we should always respect the pump. And yeah, I think bullish is, is even for the bearish people, it, you got to be a little bit bullish today. And if not, you just respect the pump. Yeah, man. Like I, I'm not gonna lie, man. Like I, I didn't buy the dip. You know, guys. You know, we we talk openly here. I didn't buy the dip yet because I'm still, you know, I'm not sold. But I wouldn't be mad if I missed the first thirty percent on a, you know, an eight hundred percent run. Like I'm not, I'm not worried about that. But I think I respect the pump today, man. I don't expect the market to go down forever. Uh, and and a friend of mine told me today, you never know when it's war, right? And, and it could change all the things that's going on in the market. So we'll definitely pay more attention to that. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into some of these crypto articles today. Uh, my first crypto article, after I get this thing started here, let me share my screen. Um, it's actually about a project that I uh, recently listed with Big One, and we also have some trading events going on with them. Uh, and it's coming from coinspeaker.com. The headline reads, M Content collaborates with PwC to redefine the cinema experience by entering Metaverse with Cineverse. So M Content has announced the arrival of Cineverse to the world whereby they aspire to bring uh, cinema to the people anywhere, anytime. M Content and their launch was enabled due to a collaboration with PwC, Middle East Emerging Technologies team. A high-end launch uh, event was attended by notable guests at Palm uh, Jamair Dubai, where M Content premiered their original co-productions titled Ripple versus SEC Saga, and El Salvador versus Bitcoin. The cinema premiere, however, was different from the norm as participants were seen glaring at the ocean, sitting at a beach wearing VR headsets, engaged in an immersive Cineverse experience. Uh, so the immersive Cineverse experience designed in a collaboration with PwC and showcase to our guests today has globally scale, uh, has global scalability and mass adoption capability. By bringing the Cineverse to a global audience, M Content wants to increase funding and screening opportunities for thousand independent filmmakers globally. As part of the decentralized ecosystem, M Content is launching its first of a kind, fully monetized content consumption platform, aiming to drop sustainable earnings for content creators and viewers. I would like to thank co-production partners Insight TV and Villain Studios from Netherlands, our technical support teams in PwC Middle East and PwC UK, and our investors including Gargash Group and Demand Investments for helping us with the Centerverse. Uh, to bring the bring the centerverse to life today. So this is a brilliant uh, example of the region's movement towards digital uh, transformation, and is very much in line with major wilder initiatives such as Dubai Vision 2030. M Content has defined a practical application of emerging technologies with the uh, convergence of blockchain, NFT, and XR, which is extended reality. Uh, we are incredibly proud, proud to have facilitated this effort as well as enabled this vision from a concept to reality to a sustainable commercialized economy that can benefit many as well as lead the way uh, uh, for other out of the box efforts. So uh, this was this one kind of hit home for me, Scott, because I remember in content being one of the first uh, or being us at ABC being one of the first people who got to meet them and see them come in for AMA. Uh, and to watch them grow uh, and then be enlisted at big one. And now we see that they're even taking more, uh, they're following the roadmap even further. And here we are, we're even about them on our daily news on CoinSpeaker. I think this speaks volume for the plans that they have. Uh, they do have a beta uh, that's going out right now uh, for their app. I downloaded it today uh, and I, I've been using the beta app. 
and it's it's pretty fun and it's you know not not definitely not shilling for them but you get 10 million free tokens just for signing up for the beta app so that's that's pretty cool like that is good. <laughs> not for nothing <laughs> And then I'll show you my wonderful article. It's kind of kicking off what you're talking about with the metaverse. Pop in here. The metaverse draws South Korea investment with $187 million pledge. South Korea's interest in the metaverse would help its entertainment, media, and creative sector to expand. Recent indications have emerged that not only private businesses are betting big on the metaverse. Authorities around the world have become cued with the space. South Korea's Ministry of ICT, Science and Future Planning has pledged 186.7 million, uh, 223.7 billion KRW to create a metaverse ecosystem. The ministry announced this in a recent official statement. Um, and basically it talks about, it just recently is revealed that the Asian country was considered Considering a five-year strategy that would help it build professional and companies that are specializing specialized in metaverse technologies. This way, it would cement itself as a leader in space. For a country whose most popular export in recent years has been in content and technologies, investing in the metaverse seems like the right idea. Several stakeholders in the crypto community have commended the efforts of the government. Simon Kim, CEO of Hashed, a South Korean-based incubator and venture capital for the crypto eco ecosystem expressed his pleasure. Kim stated that the project is fo focused on commercial expansion. He added that there's nothing wrong with the government investing in the sector when private companies are actively doing the same. Kudos to them. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, it's always some, it's always the big players getting involved, and you're starting to see it a little bit more every day, Scott. Uh, you're starting to see them weigh in. A little bit more uh, piece by piece and country by country. So good news coming out of Korea. Uh, to jump into my next article here, uh, let me get the screen shared. And my next article is actually going to be coming from Coin Telegraph, as you guys see here. The headline reads: Bitcoin climbs to 41k and flips the Russian ruble. Uh, as you guys can see here, uh, this is at 15.46, so that's at 43. Uh, this was at 41, and people are already happy, but uh, that's when it flipped the ruble. Uh, but after climbing the price to uh, more than 41,000 on Monday, Bitcoin's market capitalization has passed that of Russia's ruble. According to the data on coin market cap, the market cap of Bitcoin surged to roughly 780 billion on Monday amid the price to rising to 41,391, a 5.7 increase over the past 24 hours. Bitcoin's market capitalization exceeds the money supply of the Russian ruble, which is uh, which, according to the central bank, was 65.3 trillion rubles as of February 1st, roughly around $629 billion at the time of the publication. Uh, the flipping likely occurred as Russian ruble is undergoing inflation amid sanctions imposed by the U.S. and its allies in response to the country's invasion of Ukraine. Reuters reports the central bank raised its key interest rate from 9.5 to 20 percent. Good God. On Monday, and the European Commission has announced plans to remove Russian banks from the SWIFT payment system. Uh, so in contrast, many residents of both Russia and Ukraine seem to have driven trading activity up on exchanges, possibly over concerns about the stability of their country's respective fiat currency and using crypto as a means of uh, to solicit donations for pro-Ukraine causes. Cointelegraph reported on uh, 224 that the same day Russian forces launched their attack, the Ukraine-based crypto exchanges Kuna had roughly $4.4 million in total trading volume of all tokens over 24 hours. So that was, uh, that's a lot of good, uh, uh, good news coming there. Just, you know, you, when you think about, oh, what happened, uh, and, and, and normally, like we just said, in, in, in a market like this, where you see it could potentially be a bearish market, when people learn the power of cryptocurrency, and I think that, you know, some of the parts of some faucets of the world are, are teaching people a little bit more about crypto or, or introducing them to it, it shows us that the market is going to move by demand of the community, of the people. Uh, the people are going to really move this market, and we're in control of that. And even though there's been sanctions posed by government, it's been governments asking exchanges to not let uh, crypto get exchanged in certain regions. It's it's for the people, man. This is the people's currency, and this isn't the people's war. This is the government's war. 
So yeah, I not, agree not, not on behalf of big one that be coming from me. You know, just me speaking my you mind. Personally, about that. Me personally, yeah, I agree. This next article though rings true to to basically what you're saying as well, though, which is good. I like this because in Canada it wasn't really sticking so well. So a uh, US lawmakers <laughs> introduced bill to prevent crypto crackdown similar to Canada's. What began as a protest by Canadian truckers over COVID-19 restrictions has evolved into a possible spark for cryptocurrency policy reform in the United States. Protests in Canada's capital were stifled by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's decision to freeze the bank accounts and crypto assets of the leaders of the Freedom Convoy 2022. Aside from bringing down the Freedom Convoy, the clampdown also triggered fresh attempts by the Republican, Republicans in Washington to keep the government out of people's crypto wallets. Thus, to avoid a similar government crackdown in the United States, at least one Republican House member has introduced a bill, according to a report by Politico. Republican lawmakers and proponents of the digital asset are using the Ottawa incident to argue the digital assets are instruments for civil freedoms since they are not subject to the control of any government entity. Good for that person. Do I think it's going to pass? We'll wait and see, I guess. <laughs> We're just going to wait and see, man. I think, I, I think, you know, it, you know, I think like I was just saying before that article, man, I just, I think with the power of crypto, man, we forget it as people that really have the power, man. I think, Crypto is probably going to be one of those things that wakes us up, uh, and even in this war and the trying times, it's, it just it goes to show prove uh, true that you know just people people are the ones who make the change, man, and it should be that way. Yeah, no doubt. But to go into my last article for today, uh, we start the broadcast here and to one <laughs> flop over to here, uh, and this is pretty good. It's coming from Coin Telegraph as well. The headline reads, eBay to add crypto payment options soon says the CEO. So major, e major e-commerce marketplace eBay could integrate crypto payment soon says CEO Jamie Lunnan in a recent interview. I don't know who did this article. They might get in trouble for not capitalizing his last name. Um, oh, no, it's actually Jamie Ionel. Ionel. So that was my mistake. <laughs> the internet marketplace is amongst the oldest e-commerce platforms now looking to become the go-to platform for the Z Zen and G Zen Z and millennials. The CEO said in an interview with The Street that the firm has been looking into integrating crypto payment options for quite some time. An official announcement could be made during the upcoming Investors Day on March 10th. During the interview, INA. Uh, reveal that the e-commerce giant is looking to transition new payment modes as they are already managing $85 billion of volume on the platform already. So talking about eBay's stance on the emerging technology, such as the blockchain and cryptocurrency, I know pointed uh, toward the growing popularity of NFT trading on the on its platform without making any official announcement regarding the same. So the rise in the, popula in the popularity and demand of cryptocurrencies has made several online platforms add crypto payments options. eBay, with a focus on capital millennial and Gen Z customers, aim to do the same. However, it won't be the company's first attempt at crypto payment. eBay first tried integrating, integrating Bitcoin payments in 2014. So um, this is going to be really good news for eBay, man. I'm I'm super excited myself, Scott, and I just want to be on you know, the record saying that I think once we get e-commerce uh, tied into crypto payments, I don't think we have to worry about our day-to-day -day retail, um, how we were going to use crypto payments. E-commerce uh, and selling things online has generated a whole new market for so many different businesses out there and being able to buy different things and do drop shipments and just being able to shop uh, on e-commerce sites uh, such as Alibaba and then being able to redistribute those in your community it is a business within itself as well. So I think if we get, uh, e-commerce is like eBay, Alibaba to start accepting crypto payments, Scott, that's going to be one of the things that will really give it utility and make it easier for people to use their crypto. Oh, definitely. hundred percent. That's that whole adoption style stuff. Like when you have places like that grabbing onto it, it's going to do nothing but grow it. 
Yeah, e-commerce was one of those things that really took off, I felt like, over the last five to 10 years and, and people buying and selling things online or yeah. that they purchase online. eBay is kind of like one of those, I hate to say it, a little bit of a dinosaur, though, and I don't know. Yeah. How, I hope it lasts, but let's wait and see with him. All the crypto well, it's, big, it, it's, it's definitely going to help. In, it's big in it. It's big in America. <laughs> you know, yeah. you don't get to shop Alibaba like you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, we have Alibaba here, so it's huge. Alibaba. Well, Alibaba is huge for wholesalers. AliExpress is what typically people use around here. But um, my my next article is this one. So Israel government's orders seizure of crypto wallets in bid to block Hamas funding. Israel Defense Minister Benny Gantz ordered the seizure of crypto assets on Monday from account officials said were meant to fund Hamas. According to a statement from the National Bureau for Counterterror Financing of Israel, the accounts were connected to a business alleged to have assisted with the funding of Hamas. The assets in the seizure order include dozens of thousands of shekels from 12 accounts and about 30 digital wallets that officially say belong to a business that helped the Almachandan currency exchange company, which in turn belonged to a family known as the Shamalaks. The family also owned part of the seized cryptocurrency directly, the statement said. The order lists names associated with the 12 accounts, as well as their email addresses. Gantz said that the same press statement that he was acting in every conceivable way to cut off the economic oxygen pipe of terror. The Israeli government has cracked down on the use of crypto to assist Hamas. In July 2021, Gantz ordered the seizure of 84 addresses that received 7.7 .7 million in cryptocurrency, according to a blockchain analytics and for, for, forensic sorry, firm Elliptic. More recently, in December, assets from 47 users were also seized. After the Israel-Palestine conflict escalated last year, there's an uptick in cryptocurrency donations to Hamas, a senior Hamas official told the Wall Street Journal in June. Hamas is considered a terrorist group by the U.S. along with European Union. But the thing is, the funny thing is they're targeting people that are on exchanges again. And this goes back strictly to what you're noticing about uh, Binance and Kraken and stuff like that, where, where some of these guys are starting to stand up a bit and saying, as you're... A government we're not going to listen to you like to to shut this stuff down so it'll be interesting to see the evolution of what's going to happen with cryptocurrency where they kind of stand versus where they should be i think it will be interesting the next little while just to see how this pans out yeah man i i kind of get the notion of uh you know the more centralized exchanges would be more your uh national banks and then your decentralized would be more your um I don't want to say mom and pop banks, but local, local type of banks with their own uh, authority rules. But before we get out of here today, guys, we're going to jump over to Trading View, take a look at uh, the total crypto market cap and some of the things that we like to look at as far as dominance factors. Um, right over here to Trading View, uh, as you guys can see right here, the total crypto market cap is at 1.87. This is a, a nice little uptick. We may see some resistance in this area here. A breakthrough through this area would be where I would get really bullish at, but I think right now, uh, still too early to tell. The Bitcoin dominance is at 43.74, and the Ethereum dominance is at 18.64. I think, the, you know, while the Bitcoin dominance was affecting the charts uh, recently as far as alts being able to take off, I think as Bitcoin price rises like it's been doing uh, over the last uh, 24 hours, I think that once you see that settle down, people may take some of those profits and pour them into some alts as well. So uh, definitely was something to be looking forward to while you guys are out there uh, taking a look at some of the markets. Uh, just kind of keep paying attention um, and just, you know, just make sure you guys stay locked in with your decisions and what you're doing with your strategy. Uh, but that's all I have for today. Um, Scott, you got anything you want to close with? Uh, yeah, actually, a uh, big one did list a new project as of today i will just go up here really quickly grab the sticker and show you guys so you know which one and hopefully we can talk to them in the near future and trying to reach out to them it is a little bit harder when some of these bigger uh, companies definitely have their stuff on private i guess it's the same thing with with ourselves too as well though we do the same thing to kind of 
protect ourselves from scammers and different things like that. But there you go. Uh, Sologenic is a sophisticated ecosystem built on the top of the XRP ledger. And we are listing them as of today. It sounds like there's a lot of people that are definitely interested in it and very excited to have it on the big one exchange. So that's awesome to see. And hopefully uh, we see some more projects in the near future. We're definitely getting people that are coming to us asking questions, uh, looking into different things with big ones. So excited for the future. Yeah, guys, uh, make sure if you're like we always say, if you're part of the community and you want to uh, get them involved with big one, uh, you know, give us a shout out on Twitter and let's let's get some positivity, some good vibes flowing and let's see what we can make happen. Uh, uh, no matter what community you're from and what project, as long as you have a strong community and some utility, uh, maybe we can make something happen. So uh, that's all we have for the day. Until tomorrow, guys, we appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below. Other than that, guys, until the next time. Peace. See you guys later. Have a great day. Woo!